And now, WCIA 3 Sports with Andy Olson. Okaw Valley's Paige Robinson had been one of the best players at the Division II level over her four seasons at Drury, which included more than 80 starts and National Player of the Year honors. But over the offseason, the guard wanted a new challenge in the form of D1 opposition. I caught up with Robinson earlier this month to talk about stepping up to a new level. <laughs> It was kind of a sketchy and risky decision to make. Maybe a lot of teams in the portal, you know, you see a kid with only one year, you, sometimes you might not want to risk that. But Bethany native Paige Robinson could not resist the temptation to take her game to the Division I level. And it didn't take long before calls started to come in. The moment she, she made that announcement, I, I think we were one of the first schools to call and, and just kind of, you know, shoot our shot, so to speak. Some coaches might not see the potential that you have, and I just knew right from the start that coach Coach G and the rest of the coaching staff had that uh, faith in me. Robinson has been a revelation for the Redbirds this season, averaging more than 18 points per game on an ISU team off to a 7-1 start in the Missouri Valley Conference. After ISU lost last season's top scorer, Robinson has fit right into that role. When I first came to Illinois State, they kind of put that trust into me and just like put a lot of confidence in me, and so that kind of like got me going early. You know, she's a scorer, and I think it's a gift, and I don't care if you're a Division II player, Division I player. She has seen every defense that can be thrown at her this year, and she still finds ways to step up and score. After taking Drury to three NCAA tournaments and a runner-up finish in 2021, Robinson will try to get ISU back to the big dance for the second straight year. In doing so, the guard with the small town Roots is showing you don't have to come from a big city to compete on the big stage. I just really want to represent those small town kids and let them know like you can make it big, you can make it to the next level, and you can't underestimate those kids that come from small towns like Okaw Valley. Um, so I'm just glad that I'm in the position I am to represent those people. And Robinson's average will go up after today. She had 24 in the Redbirds, 78-46 win. That's good for her second most in a game this season. ISU stays tied atop the MVC standings with Northern Iowa after the win. Well, staying with women's basketball, the Illini.